time for Winner Home Right Tune After an Express. Welcome back. This is where three talented young design contestants turn three empty apartments into dream homes at the Polo Village at the Valdivia Estate in the Cape Winelands. And the best part is that you, the viewer, stand a chance of winning one of the completed apartments valued at over 3 million rand. It's absolutely amazing. So today we're joined by Robin Sprong, who creates custom designer and photographic wallpapers, printed canvases, fabric prints, vinyl wall tattoos, and many other surfaces, uh, particularly that he likes to design on and conceptualized too. He's been in the business for more than 10 years and his work has represented uh, South Africa. He's been in the UK, Australia, Netherlands, USA and Germany. You name it, he's been there. Welcome to The Loft, Robin. Thank you very much. Nice to be here. Cool. So it's, I, I always ask all of the artists that come into our loft, don't you think our place is very pretty? Do you think it doesn't need any... It's paper. great. Needs a little bit of wallpaper. I see you've, got a, you've got a few pieces, a piece behind me. Of course you would me. say that. That's I thought great. you would. Yeah. Let's talk a bit about wallpaper art and yeah. design because I think a lot of youngsters like to get into graphic design and maybe to work in interior design. Yeah. How did you find yourself in wallpaper art? I actually started off as a photographer, so I worked um, photographing a lot of stuff, for landscapes, and, uh, and I, had, I had so much imagery, and I, and I kind of always had that feeling that I was giving my stuff away for the cost of the shoot. Mm. So I started collecting a lot of um, landscape images, different types of textures, different type of um, really nice sort of funky images, and we yeah. were doing something different. So I, I, used, I started off with those images, and I, and, I, and I felt that just printing a picture and putting it in a frame on the wall was a bit silly. Why not? do the whole wall. Yeah. So digital technology was starting to evolve at that time and uh, a friend of mine said, come to us, come play with my, some yeah. of my machines and we did. Here you are. Yeah. A massive success. Uh, something that I find quite interesting, obviously, is the fact that wallpaper was a big thing back in the day, and I think in the 90s and 80s or something, it was a really massive thing, wallpapers and trying to get graphics on the wall. And then it sort of moved more towards paints and colors and simplicity, and now wallpaper is back, it's the new trend. Um, why has it moved in that direction, and is it a big thing at the moment in interior design worlds? I think the, the whole printing industry has completely evolved. In the old days, um, the, you know, to set up wallpaper printing companies, it, 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 it was a huge, big process. It was litho printing. It was a different t a silk screen printing. Yeah. So these days, with, t with digital printing, you can do anything, and you can do it in a very small quantity. So you can print just as much as you need. You don't have to set up screens and uh. jigs. And, so it's become accessible for people. It's become accessible for designers to start designing. It's become easy for them to just sort of like spend some time on the computer put it out there and yeah. then they've got they've got they can digitally print or do yeah. vinyl cutting or whatever it is that they need. So those obviously I want to get people out of the mindset of thinking that it's only about wallpaper which is i.e. something that you can pull off a peel for and stick onto the walls and there's more to it there's a whole bunch of vinyls that you can use there are different textures different mediums that you can use I mean you've worked a lot in, in, in various uh, different types and forms but what is your expertise lying in and, and what are the options to us available instead of doing paint? Yeah I think wa wallpaper is always one um, there's vinyl printing, which means that you can go into glass, you can go into any flat surfaces. With, um, th there's now people that are even experimenting on, on, on so surface prints that you can do for exteriors. Um, you can do things on, you can, you, you can pretty much, the, the, it's endless. Any, any type of print, yeah. there's even people that are printing using water where you can prints onto a helmet. Sure. So it's That's absolutely crazy. endless these days. Yeah, you've also worked in places like nightclubs, you've worked in restaurants, you've right. worked in doctor's rooms. I mean, yes. there are different applications for all of those yes. and everyone has something different. Let's talk through some of these images. So this nightclub that you've done over here. This was a nightclub that we did and um, the, the clients asked us, that, that it was called Harem and they wanted it to feel like a harem. It's in mm -hmm. Johannesburg. They, they, they wanted it to feel like it was a really nice um, sort of like, uh, when you go in, there's lots of girls with their sort of Arab thing. So yeah. we, 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 we did these curtains where, where we put it onto the fabric sure. and then we, we sort of, we did these behind the couches. You can see the, the, the eyes and um, that was that was the that was the brief for that. We also did glass tops with um, for the bar tops where yeah. we where we did these sort of painted hands, sure. and so that was holding the glasses. And then we did all the sort of logo designs on all the different on all the different sure. table tops. So we were There's given so quite much a that free you can do. So much so that you much. can do. A lot of uh, properties also like to collaborate with the sort of wallpapers or designs and the paint colors. And how do you find that balance? How do you, how do you really? What comes first? Furniture, wallpaper, paint, wallpaper. How does it all work out together? 
I think furniture's got to go first. I think you've got to get your mood right. You've got to get, you've got to, get to know what sort of space you want it to be, and then it's a lot easier for us to sort of f see what, what, what's possible. Mm. Once, you, once you've chosen your colors, once you've chosen your mood, then we can suggest, look, are we going to do a, a photographic print? Are we, going to do, are we going to do patterns? Are we going to do something like that? And then that sort of, that yeah. sort of helps you build up your story. And I think sure. jumping the gun and trying, doing a wallpaper and then trying to adapt your furniture to is going to be quite a difficult quite process. Difficult process. You're brilliant yeah. at what you do, I must say. I'm really, really like inspired by the work that you do. And Thank it's exciting to have you on the couch because yeah. one of our contestants for Winner Home has already, they've had one day and the first thing he's done, Rudolph, has yeah. come to visit you and you guys have started to collaborate. Yes, that's right. You know, we met him and then he asked us to do a wallpaper for him. We pretty much, uh, my, one of my junior designers actually sat until four o'clock in the morning doing this sort of contour design for him. And it's been great working with him. It's, uh, we, we're very happy to be part of the, the, the Valdivy Polo Estate. In fact, we're doing another massive home in, in, uh, at the sure. moment while we speak. Um, so it's been, it's been awesome. a really nice relationship. Well, I'm glad that the relationship is there because Valdivy is a beautiful estate and you guys have taken a lot of inspiration from there. So from yes. what I've heard from Rudolf's progress, he's really excited to incorporate what Valdivy's got. So it's cool to have you on part of, the, uh, on part of that project. Also cool to have you to chat about the importance of, of looking after your home and making it look beautiful. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Robin. It's Good to pleasure. have you on the show with us. Thank so you. we're honored and excited to have Winner Home right here on Afternoon Express. You'll see our three design contestants gradually transform three properties at the Valdivy Estate using finishes provided by Caesar Stone and Plascon. Judging their work and rena is renowned architect uh, Stefan Antony and result from Plascon and Simon Bray from Private Property. You could win one of the finished apartments valued at over 3 million rand in the grand prize competition. To find it, go to privateproperty.co.za. Winner Home is proudly brought to you by Private Property in association with Nedbank. Now after the break we put to the finishing touches on our lemon curd ricotta cake. Don't go anywhere.